The Betty O was originally a passenger boat that was built by William Wrigley. And Betty is the name of his granddaughter, Betty Offield. And the Offield Wrigley families are the uh, trustees of the uh, Catalina Island. They uh, have the, the island held by the uh, Nature Conservancy right now. But uh, the Betty O actually ran passenger for about 20 years through the 1920s and 1930s from Avalon to the Isthmus and back, did excursion trips, famous for flying fish tours. And um, after the war, the boat became a sport fishing boat. The upper deck was taken off and was converted to sport fishing. The, uh, the bait tanks, that's all war era plywood technology that didn't exist in 1921 when the boat was built. So uh, most, of the, uh, most of the upgrades that were made at the end of the war, uh, Jack Ward, he was one of the owners back then and he was a pioneer. Cisco's Landing was founded by Jack Ward. He ran the Betty O out of Paradise Cove in the 1950s. And um, during that time, there was an epic sea bass bite that lasted for about two weeks. Uh, the Betty O, the gentleman, and the Dinah Lee, the three Paradise Cove boats alternated uh, carrying people out full loads 24 hours for about two weeks. But uh, that was just uh, a mile or a half, mile and a half or so from Paradise Cove Landing where that bite occurred. I've been the owner since 1998. We look forward to more years running here and the stability of the landing and the uh, friendships we've established. Just a great environment to be running out of. We have relationships with local fishing clubs. We have youth fishing during the summer through these fishing clubs, the LA Rod and Reel Club the uh, Marina Del Rey Anglers, uh, Larry Brown. So we have a good kid following. We recruit uh, younger people to help on deck and there are a few of them on deck right now and these kids have a chance to get out here and help on deck and um, get some salt in their veins and, uh, and, and help other people. The wooden hull is original. The deck is original. The hull from the deck down is original and then from the deck up is, like I mentioned, the post-war plywood construction. Old pictures of the boat running out of uh, Paradise Cove, there was an open flybridge wheelhouse, and then um, when the boat came down here to Del Rey, that was enclosed. That was probably about 1967, so it kind of looks like uh, Jeffrey's uh, wheelhouse, <laughs> um, kind of what it reminds me of. It doesn't have the nice scarf plywood curves of the galley below it, but um, it worked, it's sturdy. Talking about the galley, who's that gal in there running that show? That is my wife, Patricia. She's been helping out for 25 years. She's an excellent cook. She can handle the pressure. That's really her asset. She just seems to be able to produce when we're out there and there's a lot of uh, demand on her and manages to get orders delivered on time and hot. It's just remarkable. And we're like a restaurant on the water. I just really admire her for her, for her stamina and keeping her good nature. And uh, she's down here at 5.30 in the morning stocking the galley from the day before. Just, she's uh, so good with the people. Incredible, yes. She just never loses her, her good naturedness. She's so darn nice. Well, we're lucky to have you guys. The industry's lucky to have both of you. Thank you.